All right, so you received a programmed emulator from us and you're still getting a no crank, no start, but you do have dash lights now. When you turn the key twice to position two, you have the yellow and red dash lights. The next thing you wanna do, if you're still getting a no crank, no start, is check the starter fuse, which is number seven. It's a 20 amp yellow fuse. You can see the number seven labeled on the uh, fuse box. This is it. Pull that out and check that it looks good, that the fuse is not broken. If that's good, check the starter relay. It's green, and if you pull it up, it is labeled M. You can see that there. You want to test the relay. I'm not going to show you how to test the relay. There's a thousand videos on YouTube on how to test the relay. You'll use a couple of wires and a battery source, maybe a 12-volt battery, even a 9-volt battery. Uh, to make sure that your relay is working properly. If it's not, get yourself a new relay from Mercedes-Benz or from a website that sells uh, Mercedes-Benz uh, relays. Do not get one from the parts store. It will not work. What will happen is uh, you'll put in the one from the parts store, and once you turn to position two with your key, it's two clicks to the right, your starter fuse will break every time. So if your starter relay is good, and your starter fuse is good, you wanna jump your starter from the fuse block here. So you'll take a piece of, uh, this is 14 gauge household wire, flattened the ends with a hammer, and you wanna take this and stick it into this slot here in the back, and this slot here, that is 87 and 30. And when you stick these two in, you should hear your starter cranking, and you may even get a start if you have your key turned to position two. And if you do get a crank, that means that your starter is good. We know your starter is good now. And if your fuse and relay are good, there's only one thing left that it could be. It's probably going to be your ECM, your engine control module. If you got to that point, give us a call. We'll talk to you about replacing your engine control module.